Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're joining us here for the very first time, I post four to five fragrance related videos per week. And I also have other content in form of vlogs. So if you're into that type of thing, fragrance based content, fragrance reviews, then this is the channel for you. I would also appreciate if you considered subscribing and joining the family. And to those who are returning, thank you so much guys for the continued support. Now, welcome to an Ad Al Zafran Ithra Dubai collection uh, review video. Today we have cotton candy. This is the box. You open it like that. The top comes off completely and then the fragrance sits in there. So you can see it's a beautiful, uh, you know, bottle right there. So I'm going to spray it on my arm as usual. And then we are going to get into what I feel or think of this fragrance. Okay. So this is how cotton candy uh, from Ithra Dubai collection by Art Al Zafran, you know, sprays like. And while it dries, let me say, there is four in this collection and I did put four on the thumbnail because what we're going to do is we're going to make it all for one and one for all. I'll explain why I say it's going to be a one for all. Okay, so there is four in this collection. There's pomegranate, there's mango, there's pistachio, and then there's cotton candy. Now, I obviously have cotton candy and because it's dry, I'm going to say, this is a synthetic leaning mask and you're going to get the four of them smelling like a synthetic leaning mask. Um, cotton candy is a soapy, powdery, soft, cosmetic leaning mask, right? I don't get the cotton candy in this. I have used this one for a while. Let me just turn it around so you can see. I have used this fragrance, okay? I've given it a test run, trying to get that cotton candy. If it's here, it's not distinct, or at least my nose is not able to extract it. Uh, you're gonna get mostly a powdery leaning mask as though, like a, like a, a makeup-y leaning mask. If you opened, say, your powder, uh, your eyeshadow, it's got wasps of that scent. Okay, so that is what, you are gonna get. This fragrance is not creamy either. It just comes across as a fragrance that enhances your natural scent. So it's not the sort that you would purchase because you want compliments. This is a very powder, baby powder, subtle scent, right? Um, another example I can give you here to bring it closer to home is if you've got petroleum jelly, Vaseline petroleum jelly, if you have that, the unscented one, if you open that and you put it to your nose, it's a whole lot of nothingness, okay? But it smells like something. So that is what I can say about this particular one. We're going to get into the other three, you know, before the end of this video. So that's basically what you're going to get. It is a a, a, a mask that um, probably is going to appeal for people who don't like uh, their fragrances to make a statement, if you will. Uh, but then again, it doesn't have a mass appeal. I can see this coming across as too powdery for some because it's powder, powder, powder. And as you smell it, it just smells like a dull, you know, kind of talc. So that is what to expect. And in as much as I doused my hand with it here, it's already gone. Whether it's the, it's because I'm anosmic to it or because it's just a plain mask, I'm, I'm not I sure. I decided to, you know, just do an all-in-one video instead of bringing them one at a time is... I have these uh, oils, a lot of them. I have mustahara pears, I have musk apples, I have uh, raspberry, pomegranate, the lot, and just the natural musk. I have featured them in my uh, perfume oil videos. These, you know, mask body fragrances are just going to be one serving, except for the singular note that they've added there. Say, for instance, except for the pomegranate or except for the raspberry, the DNA itself is going to come across as just one. Unfortunately, in this one, I don't get a creaminess either. So don't purchase this based on the color, you know, thinking, oh, it's going to be lactonic because it looks murky, because it looks creamy. This is not a milky fragrance. It's not creamy. It's just the color because it's must. So now that we've gotten the cotton candy out of the way, let me say my recommendations from the four. Unfortunately, I had already purchased the cotton candy, but I did find two that I can recommend to you, 
you know in this video um if you're to purchase these ones i'd say go for the pomegranate or the mango reason being at least with the pomegranate there is like a spiciness there and then a fruitiness to that fragrance so you're going to get a touch of that po pomegranate uh in terms of how long it will last i'm not sure because i then sniffed this in store this was the first that was stocked and then the other ones came later so i sniffed them and it, unfortunately it has too late uh, for me to buy my favorite and on the other hand i do have the oil so i'm not too like uh, you know stuck up on trying to to get the whole collection so the pomegranate is going to give you that spicy uh you know fruitiness to it there juicy leaning a little bit gourmand just a little in terms of lasting power like i said this one does nothing uh, much for me maybe two three hours so i'm not sure how far the pomegranate is going to go the mango is another great choice because it it kind of has a lush take on the mask. It's a lush leaning mask as opposed to just being soapy, powdery, like what I get, you know, in this one. So it's going to give you that gourmet accord, the juicy accord, a mango with like a peachy kind of feel. So there's a little bit of a twist and turn in there. And if I must rate them, then I'm going to have to say the two favorites, number one being mango, number two being pomegranate. Uh, the pistachio doesn't do much as well. It's going to have a little bit of some greenness and a lot of that powderiness. So really going to depend on what you love as a person. Uh, but I didn't like that one a lot. It's not a dupe of Keali's uh, pistachio gelato. Not that pistachio gelato by Keali did anything much, you know, for me. I have that one in my collection. But I'm saying now, if you're just going to take pistachio on its own and then mix it up with, uh, with, with the mask, it really doesn't do much for me. And I couldn't also extract the pistachio. So the pistachio is probably going to be sitting on, I don't know, maybe I've, I've confused myself. Okay, number one recommendation is going to be mango number two re recommendation is going to be pomegranate number three recommendation is going to be cotton candy not that you will get the cotton candy or at least my nose can't get it and then number four is going to be the pistachio so that is what i can say guys about this range the two that i've recommended here are still going to stick to that musky uh, theme but at least they have a touch of fruitiness maybe leaning a little bit gourmandish there so that's why i saw i felt the need to just do an all-in-one uh, video you know with one that i have and then talk about all of them the tafa have released a range uh, that is similar to this i haven't sniffed that one i don't know how different it is or how uh, long lasting that is and um paris corner have always had one so uh, it's just going to depend on what you want what i can say is a plus for this is if you're a collector you just love the bottles because they look cool this is one reason maybe you may want to collect them if you are the sort that loves just natural scents the baby powder baby wipes kind of feel then these fragrances are going to do it for you if you're into beastly performance you want people to comment about your fragrance you want everybody to smell you unfortunately this is going to be a line that's just just going to come, come across as mostly powdery uh, than anything else so yeah if you like that sort of thing that's that's going to be good for you i know i sprayed this one on my arm and the way the mask translates on my arm is it's kind of eaten up quickly to an extent that even as i doused it there it's already on the subtle side but on the clothing it does try a little so this is a perfume for non-perfume lovers this is a perfume for powdery perfume lovers and obviously for musky perfume lovers because i think anyone can wear these fragrances these come across as safe even to the youngsters like i could literally you know uh gift this to a 10 year old for instance not that it's a childish scent but i'm just saying because it has that non-offensive powdery thing to it uh so it is fragrances that are basically going to be safe and uh, i'm going to use mine mostly for layering or when i just don't feel like wearing you know any fragrance or when i'm craving that powdery uh thing you know scent bubble around me then yes i will definitely wear mine i think you can see i have tried to wear mine a lot and uh, this is not going to last for a long time because it is what it is we're here to talk about uh ithra dubai collection by art al zafran this particular one is called cotton 
candy and i do hope you found this review extensive and uh informative c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let's meet in the comment section where we obviously discuss more about fragrances do you have this fragrance do you want to add it to your collection i'd love to know that was this review helpful you know let me know in the comment section turn on post notifications guys that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this video and most importantly guys i hope you have subscribed if not then why not and always remember that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers